Zone Music. Welcome to Zone TV. We're broadcasting from Studio E, but we're in a different part of the studio. We're in the kitchen with Richard Roberts, who's our chef, baking. Ooh, look at this, apple pie. Those are uh, baking apples, is that what that is? Yes, sir. Yeah, he's a philosopher and we let him handle knives right here. So it's really a terrific thing. We've got a really great show for you tonight. We've got Pete Sears and Tokenke. We have Jave Ru, which is a very exotic thing. John Morgan Kimmock at five years old playing drums. It's spectacular. And we have Zero. Um, this is a song from Zero called The Blues and it features Judge Murphy. Let's check this out. Here we are at Zone Music in Katati. Look at all these guitars. Look at all these people. And look at all these Korg keyboards. You gotta hear these great sounding synthesizers. And here's Tim Haggerty playing the new amazing Korg Trinity Music Workstation. Hi Frank. We've got PAs, microphones, keyboards, computer software. But you better get down here before these people buy everything. Oh, did I mention this was all at Zone Music in Katati? 
this Mesa Boogie amp that you played through when you did the Evolution of the Blues concert, I mean, how does it feel to be on a big stage in front of thousands of people, literally, blasting through a boogie amp? I like it. It's good, isn't it? It's a lot that, of fun. That fills up a lot. Yeah, I it mean, fills up the room pretty nicely. I was going to use a 112, the yeah. same amp, but 112, but because we thought they were going to make mic it, but they didn't. Right, they so didn't mic it. it. No. So, well, we've got it mic'd today, but yeah. let's hear something with you and Michael and me. We'll play a tune. That was Julian Lodge, and everybody's going to know this kid in the future. This is Steve Kimmick that's joining us here. We're in the kitchen with Richard, and hey, that apple pie is now going into the oven. Let's take a look at that. This is part of the studio E thing here, gourmet cooking. Ooh, what a beauty. I want to see that when that comes out. About, about an hour. Oh, boy. <laughs> the miracle so, of television. So, Steve Kimmick, you're one of those kids. I recognize you. You got up in the morning, put your guitar on, and then wandered into the kitchen saying to yourself, yeah. What's there to eat? Or, heck, is there anything to eat? This is a new chord I just learned. That is exactly right. You've been playing ever since, can you remember when you started? Oh, yeah. Was, was there a time before a guitar? Oh, yeah, you? absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was a teenager. Oh, like, really? Yeah, I was probably 15 or 16. It's, it it seems so much a part of who you are. I never see you without an instrument on. I mean, I've seen you get out of a car <laughs> and you pick up a guitar and carry it in. As the first thing you do. Yeah. This is a love affair with this thing. It is. Yeah. yeah. Or um, maybe it's less healthy than that. I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's something. Late nights. <laughs> it's something I do every day. Yeah. What got you onto? What got you onto it? Why did you? I think it was my aunt Dottie. Dottie Sifter was a folk singer. She sang with Pete Seeger. Wow. And Peter Haas and people like that, and was part of the, you know, Philadelphia folk festival scene where I grew up back east. Somewhere it's from lots, a folk, lots of music. from lots a folk start though. Somewhere yeah. you turned so it was, left, it was, big it was, time. It was, it, was a, it was a folk thing. Yeah, it was. It was straight from Aunt Dottie, you know, and her playing the guitar. To, okay, you want to get a guitar, and so I got one. And, uh, Black Sabbath, you know. Black Sabbath. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I like, never yeah. would have suspected. Um, Blue Cheer, Vincibus Eruptum, and all that. Kind okay, Blue of Cheer. Yeah, because yeah. well, yeah, they at least they were loud. Yeah, boy, were they loud. Yeah. Um, the other thing that you've a cycle that you've completed as as here you are now is you're a dad. My oh, dad. You're a Thank dad. God. John Morgan Kimmock. and this kid is musical. How do you explain? Where does this come from? Did that's why I was so curious about your background because he has come like out of the shoot playing playing yeah, music. Yeah, well, it's it's well, there's music around, so he played it. Yeah. That's all. Yeah, you know? he um, was there. And, and and I think people are innately musical. They're just musical anyway. Yeah. And and they really need to be. Uh, stifled horribly for them not to be musical. Right, which our system does which very most well. most people right. do, you right. know. Don't bang on that right. stuff. You know, so when Johnny started banging on pots and pans, I went, You said, cool. great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see where this do goes. Do more of that, banging yeah. on pots and pans. Yeah, well, get you a bigger stick. He's a, he's a real percussionist, so we have a segment now. He was five years old when he did this. I believe it, that's right. right. Yeah. So here's, here's, John, here's Johnny Kimmock playing with Zero.
Well, here we are at Zone Music in Katati. Look at all these guitars. Look at all these people. Let's talk headbanging. You know, martial amps are quite rude. Hi, Frank. They're English, they promote hair growth, and if you want loud, we've got Marshall. We got PAs, microphones, keyboard software. But you better get down here before these people buy everything. Oh, did I mention this was all at Zone Music and Katati? And earlier you saw Johnny, our advice is let your kids hit those pots and pans because this is what the, comes out of it. This is Haberu. This is uh, ancient Persian culture dance. This is the real deal with costumes. This isn't belly dancing. This is very, very interesting. Check this out. Haberu. The North Bay area is so deep with culture, it's really an amazing place, and to have an outfit like that here is really wonderful for us. You're going to be seeing more of them in upcoming programs. Now here comes Tokenke. Tokenke is Tony Diana, Kim Atkinson, and Kendrick Freeman. This is an insane percussion ensemble with Tony playing keyboards and bass at the same time. He looks just like God. Check this out.
This place smells like apple pie and that's big this way. A lot like apple pie. It's bold apple pie. I know that's coming through your ticket. Come up closer to the TV, you'll smell that. Zero's coming up and we want to talk about the Zero show. It was recorded in 1970... 1993. 1993. Close. Oh, you guys haven't been together that long. Okay, 93. We have been 93. And you and Bobby Vega. Me and Bobby. Pete, Pete Sears, Sears. Right. Greg Anton. On drums. And Martin Fierro. Martin Fierro. Martin is correct. Martin. Greg Anton on drums, we said him. And our, and our bro uh, Lonnie on Lonnie, the is I think, that night. Goes. Well, this was a really hot show. This is really lives in a lot of people's memories. Here it is. Zero.
Well, here we are at Zone Music in Katati. Look at all these guitars. Look at all these people. Let's talk headbanging. You know, martial amps are quite rude. Hi, Frank. They're English, they promote hair growth, and if you want loud, we've got Marshall. We got PAs, microphones, keyboard software. But you better get down here before these people buy everything. Oh, did I mention this was all at Zone Music and Katati? That's our show. Thanks for watching Zone TV from Studio E. Remember to check out our website. Remember to come see me at Zone Music. We still have some more music for you. We have Pete Sears and, and Rich Kirch. Yep, yeah, playing boogie woogie pie eating music. Very unusual form of boogie woogie that you eat pie to. And here comes the pie. Bring on the pie, is what they say. Look at that beauty. There. That's a gem. Go get your forks. Hey, everybody, grab a fork, grab a plate. Come on. Thank you.